Hi there, welcome to another instalment of Whiteboard Fridays. I'm Jeff, and it's Conservation Week. First up, you'll notice the shirt is pretty boring, but I've decided to branch out and bring in some Conservation Week themed pants. Hope you like them. So this week, as it's Conservation Week, we're gonna look at a really gnarly conservation issue, 1080. It's one that gets people's emotions up, but here, being an economist, we're just gonna look at the numbers. What impact does 1080 have on the populations of New Zealand birds and the populations of rats. So what we know is that last time there was a mast season, so what a mast season is when our beech forests, they dump a whole lot of seed on the ground, the rats come along and eat them, breed really quickly, get a big population of rats and stoats because they feed on the rats. Once the seed's all eaten, these rats and stoats have nothing else to eat but our native birds. Last time this mast season happened was back in 2006, and we're getting another one now. So what happened back in 2006 gave us an insight into what could be happening in our forests right now. And let's look at some of the numbers from that time. So back in 2006, there were two similar parts of the South Island that one of them got treated with 1080 and one of them didn't. And both of them were resident to our little friend, the mohua, a rare New Zealand bird, it's got a yellow head, looks a lot prettier than my picture here. Uh, and there's only about 5,000 left, so they're in serious trouble. And they are really get gobbled up by rats, big time. So let's have a look at what happened. In the area with 1080, that was the Dart Valley. And the area without 1080, that was the Mill Flat. And we know that in those areas, the area that got treated with 1080, rats just about disappeared and then sprang back to around about 12%. 12% means that of the tunnels that were out there, around about 12% of them had rat signs of rats within them. Okay? Over in the area without 1080, that figure was 87%. What does that actually mean on the ground? Well, a figure of about 12% means there's probably about two rats per hectare. A hectare is about the same size as a rugby field like Eden Park. 87%, that means more like 18 to 20 rats per hectare on the area the size of Eden Park. I don't know about you, but I think I've played on that rugby field myself. Now that spells, that amount of rats spells doom for our friend the Mohua. And let's have a look at the numbers as we go through. So let's first have a look at what happened to Mohua chicks. So how many of them managed to make it out of the nest and fly away from mum and dad? Well in the area with 1080, 89% made it out of the nest. And in the area without 1080, around about 42% made it out of the nest and flew away. And we know that most of those nest failures were to do with rats and stoats. So less than half are making it out of the nest without 1080 around. At the end of the first year, how many of these more who have made it through their first year? It's like making it through your teenage years, making it uh, graduate from university, making it to your 21st. Around about 42% of the more who have made it in the area without 1080. So that's, you might think that's pretty low, but actually a lot of more who tend to die within their first year. But in the area without 1080, only 8% made it through that first year. And finally, the ultimate test, what happened to the population in that area during this mast year? Well, at the end of the mast year with, in the area with 1080, the population was about 77%, around about three quarters of what it was at the start of the mast year. So the population still got dented, but it was okay, enough to carry on. In the area without 1080, none. There were no more who were left. Most of them either got killed or if they didn't get killed, they pretty quickly decided that this area wasn't for them and they had to find somewhere new to live. So there's now no population of Mohua in Mill Flat. That's what happened last time that there was a mast season. This year's mast season is even bigger. So it gives you an indication of why DOC are doing these 1080 drops in the South Island now. Back to Conservation Week and I'll go back to my cup of 1080, uh, I mean tea.